Hey everybody and welcome back to Staying Kingdom Minded. So as you may or may not know, we are doing a nightly video together where we are working through some prayer journaling prompts. And we have a series here on the channel that we're in the middle of. Um, it's all things how to start a prayer journal and prayer journaling for beginners. My name is Amanda. If you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and join us in our prayer journaling. I've created a free printable for you guys that I've placed in the description box below. So go ahead and pick that up. It lists seven reasons why prayer journaling is important. And I felt like God was speaking to me in those things and having me to share them with you because sometimes it's easy for us to just go through the monotony, go through the hustle and bustle of life and the loudness and the distractions and all of the things and we tend to forget the importance of why prayer is important. And then in addition to that, why journaling our prayers and writing our prayers and just pouring out our heart to the Lord and why that is so important. So especially as women full of emotions, hormones and feelings and thoughts and just trying to use prayer journaling as a creative outlet and then a form of expression. So we're going to jump right in. Today I'm going to um, do this one via a screen share and in a digital format. Just quickly want to show you where you can pick up the prayer journal if you want to come alongside of us. I did do my live this evening as promised, but I had some technical difficulties, so I apologize if you were a part of that live earlier, but I pray you're listening to this recording now and that you'll come back tomorrow evening at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time and join me for the live. I will have the audio fixed by then. So we're just going to go ahead and quickly show you where you can get the monthly writing prompt journal. It's called Kingdom Thoughts and you can get it in two different places at stayingkingdomminded.com, which is my website. I have it over here. And if you click on shop and then you scroll down, you will be able to see that the prompt is here. So it is 100 pages. There's over 28 writing prompts in there. And then in addition to that, I have some printable, um, downloadable wall art that you can have in black and pink font. That's really pretty if you get the printable and it has what I call prayer points. So it's just a simplistic prayer format, um, and then it comes with a tracking system. So enough jibber-jabber about that. It's a beautiful printable if you want to pick it up and join us. You can also come over here to Amazon and type in Kingdom Thoughts or Finding Fresh Faith, or you can even type in my name, Amanda Saunders. Either way, it will pull it up and you can get it via Prime and have it in a couple of days and then just get caught up. All right, so go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Let's get in. I'm going to just, like I said, do tonight via this Word document. And we're just going to wing it tonight, ladies. And that's what it's all about, learning how to roll with the punches. So, all right. Our writing prompt for day two in our series says, God, sometimes I am guilty of asking you why. Comment below and let me know if you have ever found yourself in a season of life where you too have wondered why. Why me? Why now? Why us? Why this? Um, I know that we in our humanity just tend to wonder why. And I think that God, with his grace and his mercy, he understands he understands us. He was flesh too. You know, Jesus walked the earth and he withstood all of the different temptations and distractions that we face today. And he too knows how it feels to be a human being with emotions and feelings. So I wonder why. And right now I wish I knew why. And for me, I'm going to be a bit vulnerable with you guys this evening. And I shared this on the live, but I want you to know now, one of the things that I wonder sometimes is about my beautiful, perfect son, Abel. I wonder why things have to be so stressful. Abel has Down syndrome. And I, like I said, I'm just sharing this with you guys so that you understand that we all go through different things and we all need one another to come together as the body of Christ and to be that support system for one another. So I I'm not in a season of life where I'm questioning why Down syndrome, but why do things have to be so stressful? And sometimes, you know, we can look in the mirror and say it might be because we're doing this or we're not doing that, right? But just sometimes you just wonder why. And so one of the things that I'm wondering about is Abel. Another thing is why sometimes do I just feel this increased amount of stress? Stress 
in some situations that feels almost too much. I mean, comment below and let me know if you can relate to that because I definitely know I cannot be the only woman on planet Earth that is dealing with stressors in her life. And that's the wonderful thing about these prayer journaling prompt videos. If you're looking for tips on how to start a prayer journal, this is a really great way to start in a community like this where we can all kind of talk in the comment section below. And then at the end of the videos, once I'm done talking with you guys, I'll finish up my own journaling and add in all of the things that maybe I don't necessarily want to share because some things are truly just meant to be between God and you as a person and as an individual. So I, I wrote on here, I'm guilty of asking you why, and right now I wish I knew why. So I wonder why about Abel and, and stress in those situations. And I wonder, honestly, I wonder why sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough or good enough, right? And the fact of the matter is I know the enemy uses these things, especially, especially in the mind of a woman to make you feel different kinds of ways. And then if he continues, he can make you feel defeated and he can make you feel as though you are just simply not enough. But we know that the word of God says that we are more than enough. And Jesus loved us so much that he came to earth. God came to earth as Jesus died on a cross, rose three days again, uh, later again for our sins. He thought that we were good enough. He thought that we were worth dying for. So even in the midst of our humanity, even in the midst of asking those questions, those hard questions, I want to remind myself that nothing is too hard for God. Nothing. That means even dealing with my wondering why, right? Even dealing with my silly questioning. But the, another thing I want to remind myself that I would be writing out in my prayer journal if I was writing it by hand right now is that, is that with God, I can do this. So even in the stress, even in the why moments, right, of life, we got this, ladies and gentlemen. We got this together. So it's in those moments of why, it's in those seasons of asking myself why that I know that I can push into his presence through videos just like this one where I have a community of amazing, amazing friends and family who jump online, who are supporting me, who are encouraging me and I'm encouraging them and I'm loving them and I'm praying for them and I'm uplifting them and doing all that we can for one another to become closer as a body of believers. So I want to remind you to give yourself grace. Give yourself the same grace that you know that God gives you. By faith, you claim that grace. And I want to encourage you to give yourself that same exact grace when you go to God in prayer. And when you are feeling these feelings of wondering why, I want to encourage you to give yourself that same grace today. So I'm just going to throw in a picture here. I would maybe do a sticker or something if I was in my journal. These puzzle pieces remind me that all things, all the things fit together or as the scriptures say, work together just like puzzle pieces that fit together all the things fit together for the good of those that love the Lord and not only those that love him but those that are called 
according to his purpose. So that's what I want to remind you tonight. When you walk away from the, your writing prompt, when you put your little check mark in the box in the tracking system, when you've added your washi and you've drew, drew your little your doodles on your page, and, and when you've written down song lyrics that have come to your mind and you've commented below the video and you've added into the discussion, I would like for you to remember that you are called according to his purpose and that the same grace he gives you, you, my friend, need to give yourself. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this recording in lieu of my live this evening. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Pick up your prayer journal if you haven't already. Check the description box below. I have all kinds of links for you guys down there. I would love for you to check out. And I will see you tomorrow night at 930 Eastern Time on the channel live with better audio. OPS, by the way, comment and let me know if this screen share recording thing works for you guys, because if so, and I can't figure out the audio situation, I may do this live via the computer screen tomorrow night at 930 as well. So go ahead and comment below. Give me a writing prompt suggestion. Give me a favorite scripture. Give me some song lyrics that came to mind while we were working through this writing prompt together. Stay kingdom minded, and I will see you guys tomorrow night at 930.